Okay, what is going on, guys? So I stumbled across this article, and I couldn't help but make a video on it. It's just simply because it was... Like, I was just reading it, and I was just like, what is this guy saying? Like, I could not wrap my head around why this guy was so angry. Like, it just seemed like he was just so mad at these video games in particular and the people who played them. Like, he didn't really give any, like, reasonable, like, insight on why the game is for douchebags. He just, he's just fucking pounding the the people who play this, these games for, honestly, I, I don't know why. It's, it almost seems for no reason just to be a douchebag. But I'm going to go over them. And I won't be able to obviously go through all of them. I haven't played all these video games, but I will leave the link in the description for the article so you guys can take a look at it as well. And I'm going to get right into it. All right, his first choice here is um, Lollipop Chainsaw, and he doesn't really explain why the game is for douchebags. Other than in the third line, he just, you know, hates on the people who play the game mostly and just... You know, calling them names, calling them shallow, easily excited versions, in short, D-bags. Which doesn't really make sense to me. Mainly because it's just... it. I don't think he knows what a douchebag is. Because from what I know, a douchebag is an asshole. He, like, you know, rude. Just terrible person, you know? But... Shallow, easily excited versions. I mean, maybe I, like I don't, I don't understand that one. But anyways, as we move on, he you know talks about Jessica. Don't expect me to fucking pronounce that last name. I'm probably fuck it up. But anyways, um, they you know have her in a cheerleading outfit for the commercial, which I will also leave a, a link to that in the descriptions if you want to see that. But, um, she is, um, Jessica, she's in a cheerleading outfit, you know, promoting the game, right? But, like, this is where it just doesn't, you know, like, why are you saying this? Because she's wearing a cheerleading outfit to boost sales, but, like, the main character, Juliet, in this game wears a cheerleading outfit, and she was, and Jessica was, you know, trying to be that character, the character that wears a cheerleading outfit. But the cheerleading outfit was to boost sales, not because the main character wears a cheerleading outfit. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. Okay, it was to boost sales. Sorry, guys. Uh, I was wrong. Anyways, he goes on, and he says, IGN gave it a 5 out of 10. Okay. Like, you're telling... You're you are writing this article, okay? You are writing this article to tell me why this game is for douchebags. You can't just say, oh, IGN gave it a 5 out of 10, so it's for douchebags. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Like, you gotta give me reasons why. Like, sure, I can tell by the picture she's wearing a skimpy cheerleading outfit. Maybe douchebags would be into that, most likely. But, like, it's not only... It, it just doesn't make any sense. Anyways, moving on, feminist groups around the world had a hissy fit. Of course they did. She is barely wearing any clothes. And some of the voice lines in the game, she says, are very, you know, controversial and, you know, very, eh. Like, I don't, I can't think of the word for it, but it's just very sexual. You know, she talks about her, her ass and shit like that, and it's like, you know, there's a reason they're there. It's, it's feminists. They're they're gonna be there. It's but again, me. It's you didn't explain. Explain to me why this game is for douchebags. Basically, your argument here why this game is for douchebags is because they're shallow, easily excited virgins, which isn't even what a douchebag is. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. You guys, you guys, let me know on this one. This is just ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Just Dance? Really? For douchebags. Douchebags. Like, you, you see where I'm trying to, like, 
make the point here that he just doesn't know what that is. A douchebag wants to play Just Dance. Really? Like, that has to be one of the most st stupid things I've ever heard. Just Dance. Anyways. Alright. You know, he posts a video here. It's the fucking Star Wars one. It's whatever. But he goes at it again, hating on the people who play it. But like he says here, but what kind of person actually stands in their living room or whatever dancing along to these songs and actually takes themselves seriously? Of course, you know, this Star Wars one, you know, it was very... It was supposed to be funny. It wasn't supposed to be serious. Like, Just Dance is not a serious game. It's actually a very casual game. And it's... What's wrong with, you know, playing it? You know, probably the mass majority of people who do play this game are female. But... That's just because it's Just Dance. You know, guys don't really play these kind of games. But... You're not, you know, fucking a bad person or whatever. If you're a guy and play Just Dance, you can play Just Dance if you want to. But, anyways, he goes on. He says, for me, this kind of game, you would play at an arcade. Okay, yeah, they're at arcades. Go play it there. That's fine. And, he, you know, he puts in parentheses, yes, those things actually existed once. Hmm. Gee. Arcades? What are you? I mean, what are you talking about? What is that? Fucking like seriously? Anyone who has any like knowledge of video games knows what a fucking arcade is. It's not fucking 2070. You know, there's still arcades. You got fucking. You know, there's arcades at the like every other fucking beach. There's always an arcade at the beach. You got fucking Dave and Buster's. You got fucking what is it? Uh, Fun Spot. GameSpot? Fuck, I don't know. But anyways. <laughs> those those are arcades, and people go to those. Like, anyways. But he says, you know, playing it at the arcade while your friends watch and laugh, you know, whatever. And then he says, actually purchasing it, taking it home, devoting hours to playing it and beating it? Question mark. Who is that, um... I think it was some girl who just constantly played Just Dance, and she lost so much weight doing it. Assuming I'm assuming she did alone majority of the time, but like she lost a lot of weight playing Just Dance. So it's not like it doesn't have its benefits. Like I don't see what's wrong with that. It's a dancing game. I mean, maybe the, I don't, like, again, I haven't played Just Dance, but I'm going to assume, you know, it, like, it works your dancing moves. It's like, I feel like that's what the point of the game is, you know? You you learn how to dance. Obviously, the Star Wars ones are a little funny, but, like, you know, the normal Just Dance games. And it's, there's nothing wrong, like, again, I don't see how this game is for douchebags. Like, I just don't see it. And then after he says, sounds to me like something only a douchebag would do. Play Just Dance? Are you fucking kidding me? Like, this just doesn't make any sense. How dumb can you be? Like, see, douchebag just, it, it doesn't, douchebag and Just Dance, they just don't connect. They just don't make sense. Like, those two things just shouldn't be in the same spot. Douchebags playing Just Dance. Like, whatever. Anyways, he says, it might be fun for the whole family, but if you're just playing it alone, that's actually pretty sad. Well, again, that girl who lost a fuck ton of weight playing Just Dance, I gotta tell you, she's probably very happy that... She lost a lot of weight just by playing Just Dance. She didn't have to fucking get no gym membership. You know, she just bought a game and played it and had fun. Like, at the gym, you're not usually having fun. 
Like, you're just lifting stuff, and that's it. But just dance, you know, you got fucking... You're, just, you're moving around, you're doing different things, and it's fun. It's a video game. It's supposed to be fun. So, you know, I say that's a win in my book, but apparently, Just Dance, you know, for douchebags. Got it. You're right. Got it. <laughs> Fucking... Ugh, I'm losing brain cells. Alright, this one here he gives uh, the Halo series. And he, he says that, you know, he played Halos uh, 2, 3, ODST. And he just stopped caring. You can only take this game so far. Face it, it's over. The game is stale now. It's time to give this baby the respect it deserves and put her to rest. And then says, otherwise, you're just milking a dead franchise for more and more money. I mean, probably that, but that doesn't, this, this right here has nothing to do with making a game for douchebags. You were just rambling on, oh, Halo's not as good as it used to be kind of shit. All right. And you know what? I'll, I'll agree. I'll agree. You know, the newer Halos, I, I'll, I'll say that they weren't as good as the old ones. I'll say it, but I will not say that they're terrible. But anyways, he says, of course, people will still keep buying them, and those people are douchebags. Process that real quick. So now, instead of you being a douchebag for playing a game, you're just a douchebag for buying it. Like, you could, you could just, like, just buy it, and you're a douchebag. You, you are a douchebag. You go to fucking GameStop or whatever, buy it for your fucking console, and... You're a douchebag. The second you give that cashier the money to buy that game, you are a douchebag. You are a douchebag for buying a game you wanted. You are a douchebag for buying a game you fucking wanted. Can you believe that shit? Anyways, it says, because due to their mindless purchasing power, we'll probably see Halo 17 within our lifetimes. And fuck it. Maybe there would be. Maybe. Maybe there'll be a Halo 17. We don't fucking know. Alright? We don't know. Possibly. But, like, it's... That'll be a while. It's, like, Halo is, um... It's not really... It's not like Call of Duty, where it is, um... There's a bunch of different companies working on, you know, the same franchise, making it able to... A game to be released every year. Halo is... By one, you know, there's one developer on this game, and that's it. And it takes a few years for them to release another one. And honestly, like, if people still enjoy the game, there's I just don't see anything wrong with making more of them. It's just how fucking companies work. If your consumer likes the things you're putting out, why just stop? Like, I I mean, maybe you guys may disagree, but, like, that's just how businesses work. Now, maybe if, like, you know, they keep releasing them and they just keep getting worse and worse, like, they're just getting half-assed. Like, they're not putting any, like, love into the game. Maybe I can understand this, but as far as I know, it's not that they're not putting any love into the game. They just keep making more. And if people keep buying them, that means people like the game. If if enough people buy, you know, the newest Halo for them to think that, hey, we should make another one, then that means it's not dead. The franchise isn't dead if enough people are buying it to where they're going to make another one. Now, it, say, like, they released the fucking Halo 6, all right? And they, um, you know, they only got, like, say, like, fucking 100,000 people bought the game. That's it. No one else bought the game. They probably wouldn't make another one. They would probably do something different and just end it there. But yeah, this is what this segment is. Uh, you're just a douchebag for wanting to buy a game. That's that's legit all he says here. In this little tiny paragraph, basically what he says is that Halo is dead, and since you're buying the new ones, you're a douchebag. 
whatever, dude. Whatever. Anyways, this one was just dumb. Just dumb. Moving on. Alright, this is going to be the last one because I don't want this video to drag on too long. But, um, he says here that Train Simulator is, um, is for douchebags. And right out the box, right out the fucking box, this guy looks like a complete fucking idiot. He says, here's another game I've never played. I've, he's never played it. He's never played this game. Yet, he's reviewing it to tell me that it's for douchebags. Okay. All right. Continue. All right. Um, I would be more interested if it was plane simulator or space shuttle simulator. Pretty much anything that can actually turn. Really? Really? You see, all right, kids, uh, take out your notebooks because we gotta we gotta write some notes down because um, we're gonna take a lesson. Um, trains do not turn. They do not turn. If anyone says that trains turn, it's false. It is false. Trains do not fucking turn. Anyways, he says that thing is stuck. On freaking tracks. You literally have no control over it. Um, you know, I've been playing a lot of GTA lately. And um, um, I'm starting to make the connection. From what he's telling me. That's how trains actually really work. Um, you see, in GTA, a train just pretty much goes in a straight line. And, you know, circle around the map. It doesn't really uh, take many... Well, it doesn't take any turns because uh, remember it. Um, it doesn't turn. It doesn't turn. Remember that. Um, and it just goes around the map. And um, there's a guy sitting in it. And um, but he does nothing. He does nothing because the train has complete control over itself. He he just sits there with his thumb up his ass. This is why um, when you kill uh, the train conductor, that um, the train will keep moving. And then maybe even eventually stop and then move again. Because, um, damn, Rockstar really went into depth with this. Um, I gotta, I gotta give him props for that. That was, uh, that was pretty good. That was, uh, pretty good. He says, uh, here, all you can do is control the speed. I mean, I'm no expert on trains. But, I'm almost 100% sure that's more than... That's you do more than just control the speed. He says, seriously, where is the fun in that? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe someone that likes fucking trains. If you like fucking trains, maybe you'll find fun in this. I personally would not play it. I I probably won't play really any simulator game. I don't find them fun. But that is me because I don't have any interest in trains and planes and fucking space shuttles. I don't have interest in those, so why would I buy the game? Uh, whatever. He says, I get there's probably more to it than that. Yeah. Yeah, there, yeah you're not wrong. There, there probably is. Pro probably, though. Probably. Just probably. Um, <sighs> he goes on. So there's probably more to it than that. And um, he's putting it in the same boat as Farm Simulator. And again, it's a fucking simulation. People don't normally buy these games to have fun. These games are for simulating. Simulation. That's what they're for. They're to educate. They're, uh, I don't, I can't believe I'm explaining this. I, f I feel like everyone should just know this. It, a fucking simulation game, a simulator, is meant to simulate a certain scenario. Whether you're driving a train, fucking working a farm, flying a space shuttle, or flying a fucking plane. You, those aren't really fun. 
You don't see a farmer fucking hunching over his back almost fucking 80% of his day and having fun. He's gonna fucking be tired as shit. You know, he's not having fun. He's... I'm rambling on. I, I want to continue. <laughs> Anyways, he said, A boat strictly for the use of douchebags. And douchebags alone. You see, these, um, you know, um, what is it? You know, your pilots, you know, your astronauts, they are douchebags. Because I, I'm 100% sure when they go to get that job, they do not just jump in a fucking shuttle and go to fucking space. That's not how this works. They go over training after training, simulation after simulation, simulation. They they use simulators because it it's too dangerous to do the real thing. All right, so basically you're a douchebag for instead of killing yourself, you know, trying to fly a plane. Um you uh you used uh you used a simulator, so you're a douchebag. Oh, this guy, this guy, man, I'm learning a lot. I'm learning a lot. Anyways, he says it actually got some pretty decent reviews, so I guess for those people who enjoy watching trains go around and round, it could be fun, I guess. What the f I actually want to just blow my brains out. Like, I can't believe what I just read. So basically, he just negates everything he said because the reviews were good. So the reviews were good, so uh, I guess it's fine. I... I don't know about this one. I don't know about this one, uh, boys and girls. It, um... It's got me a little on edge. I'm not. I'm not sure what to think about this uh, article, but uh, <laughs> that's gonna be it. Um, thanks uh, for watching. Uh, if you want to see me do more of these, please let me know in the comments. And also, give your opinions down below. I am completely open to criticism. You know, any thing you want me to change or you think I could do better on, please let me know. I will be happy to um read those and respond to them so um uh again thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later